the same. Yes. In James chapter 5, verse 16, confess your fault to one another and pray for one another that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man is a way such. And also in Mark chapter 11, verse 25 and 26, let us read all together. And when we stand praying, forgive. If ye had ought against any, that your Father also which is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses, but if you do not forgive, neither your Father which is in heaven forgive your trespasses. What is the purpose of this lesson? Number one is to allow the Lord to set us free from the wounds of the soul because we all know that the wounds of the soul are the most horrible wounds inflicted in the person. Huwag kasugatan ng iyong kaluluwa, napakahihirap gamutin niya. Yan yung sugat na tumitimo ng napakatagal ng kanyang. Yung gustong gusto mong alisin pero hindi mo magawang alisin. Pag ikaw sa sarili mo nagtataka na ba? Lord, I pray naman. I cry, I kneel down. E parang ayaw pa rin, hindi pa rin maniwala o ba, hindi pa rin mawala ito sa akin. And also, one of the purpose is to recapture who we are in the Lord and who God wants us to be. Ulitin ko, to recapture, muli nating maunawaan kung sino talaga tayo sa Diyos at kung ano ang Diyos at kung ano ang nais ng Diyos sa atin. I would like to share to you one of my testimony. Napakalik ang testimony that really hurt my soul. One of them is betrayal. As a pastor, I have been saying, no, I'm a UPS bar, I'm serving a, a Korean church, and I, by the grace of God, I'm really doing well on my ministry because you know passion ko. During that time, I was just a worship leader. At nakita ni, yung, eh, hindi ko alam mo nakita ngayon ng church, na pagkumang sa kayo sa church, alam mo walang spirit ng mga gusto. But still, because I love the Lord, I worship the Lord on that particular place. But dumating yung pagkakataon, talagang walang mangyari kasi wala yung spirito ng Panginoon. And then yung mga taong nag-aalisan. At ako na rin sinabi ko, I need to go to another place. Even though I cannot get out of the place kasi doon sa church, kasi doon ako nakatira sa church na yun. Nakataan, nakatira ako sa, sa, sa penthouse. So siya rin ang penthouse. Doon ko sa rooftop. <laughs> Madabi ko ng leader, wala akong matiran. Kasi yung trabaho ko walang magahay. And then the pastor get angry, get mad at me. Eh siguro ikaw ang nagsusunsol kung bakit, kung bakit hindi na nagsisip ba itong mga biyanggo na ito. Ang totoo, hindi naman. Kasi nagpupunta ako sa inchon. Why? Kasi nagpapalakas ako ng spirito ko. Because I was so discouraged to the kind of worship, to the kind of ministry na meron ang gawain na ito. Then, pagkakali ko sa intyo, nagtinawag ako, Arnel, alay ka rito, gusap kami sa taas, sa penthouse, magkaharap kami sa damesa, siguro nagtaas ako ng boses, hindi ko na malaya, nasampal na pala ako ng dalawang beses, ng pastor. He's a pastor. Mata ko magpapastor, kung ganun klase yung pastor, nakikita ko na nila. And yet, I continue to serve them. I continue to serve God. But hindi lang yun. When I serve in one church, sila yung nagbigay ng visa sa akin pabalik sa Korea. I served for two years. And then, tabi na, after two years, huli ka na. Pero po, palilingan namin. Umuwi ako. Wala yung trabaho ang asawa ko. Wala akong trabaho. Pangako nila, babalik sila. Ah, pababalikin ako. Ninalik sila ko yung lahat ang aking documents. Nung makarating ang documents, wala nang ha, wala nang ho, wala nang hay. I have a family to raise. Is it a betrayal? Yes, it is a betrayal. That sometimes, especially the betrayal is very hard to confront because laging nasa pa rin ang puso niyan. That's why ginawa ko noon, may Facebook na lang, dahil nagtabas na yun, ano yun? Ano yun? The first turn. Lahat yung galit ko, may binla ko lahat sa Facebook po. Why? Kasi every time kung nakikita ko sila, nasasaktan ako. Dahil sa ginawa nila sa akin. Nagutom ang pamilya ko, wala kayong makain because of the tanong, bakit ka pa magpapasko? Bakit ka pa magpapasko? Kung wala kang naging maging magandang modelong pasto. Ama, 
We have all the reason, we have all the rights not to follow God because somewhere down the road, someone betrayed us, someone rejected us, someone hurt us. At ang masakit doon, hindi lang naman ako nasaktan, pati pamilya mo. What shall we do? Madalas mag-re-rebelde tayo. Ama, we will curse these people. So, bakit hindi ko ginawa? But I believe because I was told by God, kahit nasaktan ako, sumunod ako sa Panginoon. Nakabalik ako ng Korea because of one pastor, a missionary, he doesn't know me, I does, and I don't know them also. Nakabalik ako. Nakabalik ko, binigyan ako ng magandang sweldo, may mabangay, pinag-aral ako, binigyan ako na alawas, wala kami usapan. At ang bait ng Panginoon. Pero yung sakit ng puso mo nung ba rin pag nakikita ko sila. Totoo hindi. Totoo. Tama. That's why we need to confront these things and ask God, Lord, ang gani mo kasi ito yung nagiging dalinan upang hindi ko paabot itong mga tao na ito. So many people, we cannot reach out. Kahit gusto natin i-share ang word of God, pero dahil masakit ang puso mo, silaktan ang puso mo, may silaktan, silaksak ang puso mo, pinaligurong ka, nireject ka, then, parang wala kang pakialam sa kailan. Tama? Pero hindi na ba kailan? We need to come to God and kneel down before the cross of Christ and say, Lord, take it out for me. Alisin mo sa akin kasi ito yung nagiging dalian upang hindi ako maging effective sa mga gagawa mo. Our, our, our word is so funny, funny that, so, that there are so many things inside this. We have so much pain in the world. We have we have so much abandonment in the world. We have so much abuse in the world. We have so many ridiculous and prejudice in the world. There's so many hurts, even our own family, our co-workers, our friends, and even our spouses. Maging mahal mo sa buhay, pwede kang saktan at hindi mo pala nakita yun. Ang tagal mong babaunin. At nagiging dahilan ito upang maging hindi rin maganda ang pagtrato mo sa ibang tao. Ang dapat namin muna, makuha nung may pinanggagalingan. Itong hurt ng tao na ito. Ano ang nagiging bunga? Ang nagiging bunga, loneliness, rejection, resentment, and fear, and anger. Sino sa atin ang merong loneliness? Sino sa atin ang merong rejection? Nararamdaman. Sino sa atin ang merong... Ano sa tagalag yung resentment? 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 Ang hirap talaga ng English. Galit. Tama po sa manang loob. Meron kang fear, meron kang tangon, at meron kang yung anger. In Proverbs chapter 18, verse 14, it says, A man's spirit sustained him in sickness, but a cross spirit who can bear. Iba ang hirap nun. Okay lang may sakit ka, nakatitiis mo pa eh. Okay lang may sakit ka, nakakapagtrabaho ka pa. Pero yung puso'ng sugatan, yung kaluluwang sugatan, ay hindi mapag-ilong ng panahon, ang hirap doon. Ang hirap, hirap doon. In Luke chapter 4 verse 18, Jesus declares that we should go to Him because He is our healer. Amen? We should come to Jesus because He is our healer. Luke chapter 14 verse 18, it says, The Spirit, let us read all together. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because He had anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He had sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of sights to the blind, to set at liberty them that are loose. Si Cristo ang ating kagalingan. Si Cristo ang pwede, ang tanging mayroong kakayahan upang lahat ng bagay nito ay kawala sa atin, upang maalis sa atin. Because Jesus was wounded so that we can help Him. Ang ganda ng kanilang topic. Ang ganda ng kanilang topic. 